Hello, this is a quick tutorial to show you my personal workflow to work with my Canon 7D files in Vegas using Cineform as an intermediate, intermediate codec, but you can apply this to any intermediate codec uh, that you want. So, first thing, things you, you need to have are VirtualDub, uh, VirtualDub QuickTime plugin input. Uh, you must have QuickTime installed. You you must have, of course, one intermediate codec installed, video for Windows codec only. Uh, you must have Vegas, and optionally you can have uh, Media Info. Media Info is a very nice little piece of software that you should try. So, first thing I'm going to show you. My this is my work hard drive. I have two folders here, one conversion folder and one is the project I'm going to create to show you will be on this uh, folder. So here on the project folder I'll have one folder for high resolution and one for low resolution files and one with my uh, many QuickTime movie files. So <clears throat> if you have a real project you probably have more than 30 or 40 of those. Uh, at this time, I only have those two because it's just for an example. So uh, here I'm going to click on uh, Media Info. So I can check if this uh, media is 1080p or 720p. This one is 720 at 60 frames per second. So I'm going to copy those files to my conversion folder. I have uh, an input folder for 700 and one for 1080p, and I'll show you why later. So I'm going to copy this here, and this one, which I can check here, I know it's my 1080p file at 24 frames per second, so I'm going to drag it here with control, uh, holding control key, so it will copy. Now I have one here and one here, so I'm going to forget a little bit about my project folder and go to my conversion folder. So what happens here is I have an input for 720 and one for 1080p files. Uh, all the files on those two folders will be handled for this one in high resolution and for this one in low resolution. Those are the files we're going to use for editing and those one after we edit we can change for these files and use those for grading. Uh, here on the presets, presets folder I have one preset for 720p high resolution and low, and the same for 1080p, one for high and one for low. Those VCF files are uh, virtual dub preset files. Okay, so now if I click convert call now, it will convert those two files to virtual dub, uh, using virtual dub to Cineform files. But first I want to quickly show you what those files do. Uh, I have this file here on my main folder and inside each uh, input folder I have another one that is basically the same. Uh, what this one does is here on convertcall.bat you should change, uh, we're going to set the folders. So whatever you put those, those bad files you should change uh, the directories. So here you tell this, the, the computer where is your virtual dub. So mine is on this folder. Uh, my input folder for 1080p files, my input folder for 720, 20, my output for high resolution and low resolution, and my processing options for each one of the modes. So uh, if you ha happen to have another drive, so uh, let's say your virtual dub is on your D drive slash virtual dub, you can just change it here. And uh, the same here, if you have your D drive, your your video files files are on your D drive, you can just simply change this, uh, this folder name. Uh, remember not to add the backslash at the end of the folders or it will, uh, it won't work. So, after setting all those uh, variables, this uh, bat file will change to the input folder and for every 
QuickTime movie, it finds, it will call convert.bat and tell him <coughs> to process this file. What convert.bat will do is that it will open uh, VDub, which is virtual dub command line application, and will, with this uh, string, will clear the job list, exit, then we'll load the processing options for 1080p <coughs> at low resolution, uh, adding, uh, giving the input file here and the output file here. Then we'll run this job list and exit. And again, it will clear the job list, load uh, processing options for 1080p high, and then uh, add 1080p input and output files and uh, add this this thing to the to the processing job list and run the job list here and exit so for each file each mov file it will generate two files and for this you have to call virtual the six times that's six uh, on the 720p you have a copy of this file and everything that's 1080 here is 720 there uh, Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to create the VirtualDub preset files. So I'm going to call VirtualDub here. I'm going to open one of my MOV files. This is my 1080p file. So here it is. Uh, let me put it at 33% so I can see it. Um, so here you can add filters. VirtualDub is known for having a lot of very high quality filters, including the shaker, which is kind of new, and uh, neat video. Uh, neat video removes, uh, if you're shooting at high ISO levels, then neat video can clean a little bit of the, of the noise, and the shaker can uh, stabilize your camera if you're shooting handheld or something and also it compensates a little bit for your for the, the rolling shutter effect so okay I'm not going to use this and uh, I'm not going to use any filter now and the only thing I'm going to tell it uh, I want to make a full processing of this uh, video and the compression will be cineform and remember to check every of every one of those four boxes to maintain uh, the gamma levels of the QuickTime file. And I'll click OK. Oh, by the way, if you want to compress to Motion JPEG or something else, you can just choose another codec here. So if you're using FFD Show, you can click on uh, Configure, choose your encoder, MJPEG or whatever, and just encode it to the, to the codec you want. So the one I want to, to use is Cineform. I'm clicking OK here. And audio full processing mode. So it will convert whatever is coming in to WAVE. And I think that's it. So I'm going to save this processing settings to 1080 high. And I'm going now to add a filter, which is the resize. And I'm going to change this to 640 by 360, which is a third of the resolution uh, horizontally and vertically. So now I, he'll output another file that is 640 by 360. And if I put 100% here, you see it's the same size as the other one, which is at 33%. So now I'm going to save this processing settings to 1080p low. Okay. 